welcome to Afrodin Reports and uh, by the names aka Smoggy I'm focusing on uh, a lady uh, by the names Doris mm-hmm. you're welcome to Afrodin Reports who is Doris? Mother? Oh your mother? Yeah. Wow. How many kids? I have three kids. Three girls. Around three, three girls? Yeah, three. Are we expecting uh, others? Or? Yeah. By God, Chris. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I'm from Nigeria. That's interesting. And I've lived here for many years. What are you? Yeah, in mm. Denmark. And I'm a nurse. Oh, you're a nurse? Yes. Wow, where do you practice from? Uh, Gate of the gate of the hospital. Oh, yeah. Medicines out there. Ah. Yeah. So I'm in the right spot. Just in case I get any technical problem, I'm with the right person. Yeah, you are with welcome. my health. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> so, uh, I really love a business. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, I uh, are taking care of uh, people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are some of your hobbies? Doing sports sometimes, doing sports. and I love music, dance. Yeah, making it happen, make people happy, and you no know, get together, and you know, just get together and be happy. All of recent, we've seen uh, very many uh, events you've created, and um, there are actually very many. Can you run us through the several, uh, you know? artists you've brought in Denmark? Uh, yeah, if I could remember back, uh, Ricardo Ban. Oh, Ricardo, oh, yeah. That yeah. was last year. Uh, Timaya. Also Timaya, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very successful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, Skibi, and people really, people came came to Skibi, but mm-hmm. people came. Because people, some people love uh, Skibi, but he was a small artist. But people still love him mm. and Kim. Uh, last year there was a artist that came from Uganda, a ladies artist. Mm. I cannot remember the name. I don't know if you remember. Oh, that's Fear from uh, Uganda. Jojo. Oh, by Jojo. Oh, by Jojo. Yeah. So he performed in my place, Afro Big Palace. Oh, so you fusing with other promoters? Yes. Okay, yes. to boost the entertainment. Yes. Yes. That's great. Um, what I remember exactly on social media, there was too much questions about yeah. uh, the October um, event you, suppo- you arranged, and yeah. this was about techno. Who was around the end of uh, um, October, that was around 26th? And questions are coming. What went wrong? And, and actually, I don't really know what went wrong, but I did my best. Um, to bring techno to Denmark mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. performing, mm-hmm. Um, I paid the due they want me to do. Mm-hmm. According to the due, before the artists will come on stage, mm-hmm. by renting a five-star hotel for five people. Mm-hmm. There were five people techno and other four people with techno coming to Denmark. Mm-hmm. But it goes like this: in the morning, they're supposed to arrive Copenhagen nine. Chart, which I booked ticket night that, mm-hmm. but they never came. Did they give a reason? They said techno was sick. That was the reason why they did not come to them at that day. But in my own understanding, when I was asking techno to give me a video to apologize to them, mm-hmm. techno refused to do that. It sounds like you paid and cleared everything, right? Yes, I did. Is there any way they refunded you for the expenses uh, you incurred? Yeah, that is the battle I'm going on with them now. Tell me that I should wait till next year, which I say no. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have to clear it now. Um, to the side of the fans, more so like me, we lost with NC Techno on that day. Is there any way you're going to compensate? I have been doing that, I have been compensated a lot of people and I say sorry to the people that came that day. Some artists were not really happy with me, I apologize and mm-hmm. I was not really there because I was in the airport oh, yeah, yeah. trying to wait for techno to arrive. What's the way forward besides that? Those who you can't, you can't pay? And Do you those, expect anything? Yeah, those I cannot pay, now mm-hmm. I'm trying to bring on a, on a top star artist oh, okay, to okay. Denmark 
because I'm not going to stop here because this is just a trial mm -hmm. and I'm, go I'm not going to fall in the trial. I know I have been a, a, a strong lady mm -hmm. trying to make people happy, trying to make this uh, community to come together and, you know, to bring our artists from, you know, from Africa. So next year, I'm looking forward to bring an top artist to Denmark. The people that have not collected money from me can come in free. Mm -hmm. One last question about the issue of uh, techno. Uh, it happens that um, towards uh, around um, 2.30, Hmm? Everything was closed. I'm so I'm so happy that you bring this up hmm. because that makes some people even I was talking to a lot of people in the telephone and they called me a lot of names because they never really hear from me. This was my first experience to see that artists never came. Mm -hmm. All my artists They'll delivered. Be here. They mm -hmm. delivered. Mm -hmm. I've never seen any artists that never deliver. Techno supposed to arrive nine o'clock in the morning, it never came. They told me they missed the flight because of the change, changes of the time. They're supposed to arrive at the airport nine o'clock in the morning. They missed the flight because it was the changes of the time factored. That is what they said. They asked me to book another flight, which I did. I booked two flights in one day. Wow. In the morning was nine o'clock. They missed it. Then I paid 14,000, then 14,300 and Danish krona for night flight, 1030 in the night for five people. Mm -hmm. I was in the airport, they never came. I was there in the airport waiting for the flight to come. Nobody was inside the flight. I, but and nobody called me that they are not coming. I was confused. Are they coming or not? So we waited in the airport at 11.30 to 12. We did not see nobody, so we went to the event. Everybody was confused mm -hmm. when we came to the event. I get it. But it was good music. You wouldn't have stopped it. You <laughs> would have gone until morning. Yeah, I don't really know what people need, but for my own, I was confused. I don't really know how to fix it. Away from techno, uh, whatever happened, really happened. And uh, what I'm seeing, you're so happy for Christmas, anything, you know, words talk about Yuli Gewa. Am I expecting any gift from Afro Palace? Yes, free entrance party on the 25th oh. in Afrobeat. Free oh, okay, entrance, okay. come in everybody, mm. do what you want to do. But on the 31st, we will be giving a bottle of wine. Wow. Yes. Amen. On the 31st, 31st, I don't care if you come 300 people, I'm going to give you one a bottle, bottle of wine. wine. That's on the first. First, uh, yes, yeah, okay, on the okay. 31st. I'm giving free and one bottle of wine to everybody. Just the way I did in techno. Mm -hmm, techno, mm -hmm. I share some drinks free to people. I was ashamed of myself. You're ashamed of what happened? Yes, yeah. what happened. And it's not what I planned. This is not what happened. I get so, it. So I, I just want to give up and to show, to give out, to show to people that. Yeah. That's not the way things are yeah. supposed to be. But yes, okay. yes. Just be happy and let everybody. Be. It's all about. It's not money. It's about happiness and. I get it. Yes. Sometimes the words cannot be enough, but uh, mostly if someone talks out something or if you look at the body language, can tell more what they want to express. We the Freedom Reports wanted to come and try to air out with um, Doris exactly what really happened and who she is. Just a pay visit to Afro Palace, Afrobeat Palace. Yeah, Afrobeat Palace. A great Palace. place to be. Yeah, and uh, for now, we shall say Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Favel to 2019.